Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight is the culmination of six months of professional development for 16 artists. They're learning about the marketing, the business side of art. And during the course of all their training, um, they were developing a public art program, but also demonstrating to the town the importance of the arts in the downtown area towards economic development and vitality. People are downtown, they're in the restaurants, they're, they're enjoying the arts, there's smiles on everybody's face, and everybody um, is happy. I'm an abstract photographer, and what you're looking at is my story, Get Paused, which is my, it's a photographic memoir of my uh, journey surviving a brain tumor and a stroke and how the artwork changed as my illnesses changed. The bicycle series represents me. I've had so many surgeries, eight operations alone on my head, that I felt like I had become the bikes. When I saw the bikes lying there with their parts removed, I felt like that. And the other series are more abstract. Everything is a reflection. There's the water reflection. There's also another series called Rust in Bloom. Most people think it's a, you know, they see a rusty tugboat and they pass it by, but I saw beautiful fields of flowers. I'm generally drawn to animals, but the birds really stand out in the animal kingdom for their language. There's a particular strength in communication among birds. So in the woods, in nature, other species benefit from communication among birds about dangers present or food sources, etc. So that is why the birds were chosen to work with human language rather than having a cat talking or an elephant, you know, thinking. And that is the background for um, seizing the opportunity to work with a poet um, to enhance the language. This cat used to visit me, this tabby red cat used to come into my studio, sit in my lap. I had this fun idea of, you know, since I love Vance Van Gogh, I was going to make do a cat with the straw hat on, you know, with, uh, you know, the style of Vincent Van Gogh. I started doing more paintings. So the paintings actually came before the story, and the story kind of wrote itself in that way, where, the, where Veronica meets Vincent Van Gogh one day, she's a feral cat, where he adopts her, and then she becomes part of his paintings. So obviously I picked paintings that people would be familiar with, and I was fun doing it in the style of Vincent Van Gogh and the style of Monet. Uh, and the last book actually you have the cat visiting several artists. The cat visits with uh, Degas, Renoir, you know, Picasso. I mean, his cat lives a long life. <laughs> it has more than nine lives, I guess. Space Picnic is an interactive performance art installation. Um, it takes place on an alien planet. So this is the landscape that you would find on this planet. And uh, we've been inviting people in, they can, uh, there's a picnic basket in the middle of the room, um, they can have a little pretend picnic and then we uh, send them out to try to find the sources of the food in the picnic basket throughout the environment like a mini scavenger hunt. I remember we were on a subway platform and, and I was like, we should really do something, like maybe something in space. And then Andrew was like, "Space picnic. <laughs> we should have a picnic. We should have a picnic on another planet." And we were both like, "Obviously, that's where you go from there, I guess." We use everything from paint as a sculptural object to insulation yeah. Yeah. and <laughs> packing foam, mylar blankets, all kinds of fabric, all, all kinds of fabric, uh, silicone, silicone, lots like of different caulk. <laughs> I think this is great because one, you get to see Riverhead, which. I've never noticed some of the things because I usually only drive through here. It's really interesting and it's very inspiring. 